everybody today i am filming a very highly requested video ever since christmas day as you can tell by the title of this video something pretty amazing happened on christmas day i got engaged and a lot of you want to know what happened you want to know all the gory details and what plans i've got for the future and all that kind of girly chitter chatter stuff so i've got myself a hot chocolate and we are going to have a chat about what happened fill you in on all the details and what's going to be happening going forward. So go and get yourself a cuppa, get your comfies on and let's have a little girly chat about my proposal story. Okay, so where do I begin? Um, the beginning would be a good place but <laughs> I don't quite know where the beginning is. On Christmas day I was very lucky in the fact that I was doing vlogmas and on the morning I asked Phil if he wouldn't mind recording me opening my presents because I was going to do like a little montage at the beginning of my vlog um, and he quite happily obliged which I did think was a little bit strange at the time but hey ho I was doing vlogmas and I thought brilliant exactly what I wanted it means I don't have to set up a tripod everything so I was quite happily opening up my presents and at the bottom of my stocking there was a gift um, obviously this is all in my Vlogmas Christmas Day video so I will link it up here. I always keep picking the right, wrong side but it's definitely this side. Um, I will link the video up there if you want to go and see my reaction because there was tears. Um, I unwrapped a present right at the bottom of my stocking. It wasn't a ring. Um, what it was in fact, oh, let's put that down, was this little box. I knew I was getting a gift from notonthehighstreet.com because it had arrived while he was away um, and I'd put it upstairs out the way for him and obviously it had the Not On The High Street like logo on it and I didn't quite realise what it was but it was this. I'm hoping it will focus on that. Come on. There we go. So it is a little ring plaque with the words underneath it saying would you marry me? and a little ring. The ring is actually a separate piece. So you see some me put something on my finger in that vlog as well, which is this. So the ring is actually a ring as well, which is really cute. Um, obviously lots of tears. It took me a long time to say yes, because he didn't actually ask me the question, because this did. Um, so there was a lot of crying and eventually I did say yes. I think I went a bit supersonic. At this point there was a lot of squeaking and yeah, <laughs> um, I absolutely love the way that he did it because that means I can keep that. In fact what I'm planning on doing with it is putting it in like a little box frame with a picture of us on the day as well as like a really keepsake memento so I absolutely love the way he proposed to me. Um, the reason behind the wood spelled as W-O-O-D is because <laughs> he was saying in the run up to the proposal I was being extremely picky about things. And he was asking like if you had an engagement ring what what kind of ring would you like and stuff like that and i just could not pick and he was like you know what in the end of the day you're gonna get a wood one because are you too fussy so <laughs> in the end of the day i did end up getting a wood ring um so after a lot of tears and opening the rest of our presents and having the rest of an amazing christmas morning we went and got ready to go and visit family on the afternoon um, and as I came downstairs after being upstairs for a bit too long getting ready there was another present on the table a little square wrapped up ring box um, I spotted it and I was like uh, what's that is that a present for family that we need to take with us and he was like don't know um, who do you think it's for and after a bit of to and fro in I ended up opening it and it was in fact my ring um, I will show you the ring. I need to, I think I just need to put my hot chocolate down. There's too much going on. So, this is my ring. Oh, make it straight. Come on, focus, focus, focus. So, there is my ring. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm in love with it. It is a nine carat rose gold morganite ring surrounded by diamonds. I love it. I, as I said, were was extremely picky about rings. I would say for the past six months, well, for myself about a year, 
for Philip being aware that I was doing it about six months um have been looking in jewelers windows to see what kind of rings I would like because I didn't really want your standard silver well silver or white gold band with a diamond in it and it sounds really spoiled but it wasn't something that I really wanted I wanted something that was a bit different and I'd seen a few people with morganite rings and I thought it's really pretty it's a slightly dusky pink stone and it looks really pretty and to be honest in the last year or so I've been getting really into rose gold jewellery I got a watch for Christmas last year well Christmas the year before last because it's now 2017 um, and I've been slowly collecting my rose gold jewellery collection and I thought I want something different I would love a rose gold ring I've seen a few of them about and there's not many of them about and they look absolutely stunning so I started on the hunt for a rose gold ring and I will tell you, it is not the easiest thing in the world to find. I, once Phil was kind of aware that I was looking at rings and he was kind of accepting the fact that I was looking at rings, um, there is not a lot of choice. This ring is actually from Ernest Johns and it is from the Vivid Collection, which is a collection that they do based around like different types of like central stones instead of diamonds. Um, I just thought this video is going to be very long but I'm really sorry <laughs> um so I found a beautiful diamond rose gold ring but it was ridiculously expensive we could have afforded it but at the end of the day I was like it's the price of a holiday I would not feel comfortable walking around with that on my finger um it's just too expensive so we found this one and well I say we I spotted it in the window I pointed at it um and yeah <laughs> the rest is history it's the one he bought me um but I do really think it's important that if you want like a specific type of ring that you kind of drop hints or if you're in that much of a normal relationship that you can kind of talk about the fact that yeah we're getting older yeah it's it's gonna happen just essentially like talk to your partner about it so there's no point in them buying you something that you don't like and it takes kind of the pressure away from them and they don't feel as stressed about trying to pick something that you will like um so i do think it's important because although i knew that we'd been looking at rings and things like that um i could never have told you when he was going to propose to me as you can see by the vlog i was very shocked um, so even though I'd been looking at rings, there was no inkling that it was going to happen Christmas Day. In fact, there was no inkling that it was going to happen at all. So that's all about the ring and the proposal story and what actually happened. Um, but now that is in the past and we need to look forward. We need to be looking at weddings, <laughs> which is the next thing that I'm going to have to try and talk him into. <laughs> um, no, like when he proposed and all the family found out and everything, the first thing they asked was dates and Phil's reaction was five years. And I was like, no, not happening. Definitely not going to be in five years. In my head, I'm predicting it's going to be nine months, nine to 18 months of planning. Um, nine is a very, very nearest. Um, again, it's all work related. I've got really busy times of the year where there will be no way I will be able to take time off to go and get married. Um, and same with him, we need to work around work essentially. So at the moment I'm looking probably more to the 18 month mark. Um, but I am getting excited now about wedding planning. I've taken a couple of weeks. I've not actually like gone out and bought wedding magazines yet because I wanted to kind of enjoy the like excitement of being engaged and everything like that. But now I'm like switching my attention to the wedding planning. Um, at the end of this month, there is a big wedding fair in the Metro Radio Arena in Newcastle, which I have asked my mum to come with me to. I have been to it before with one of my friends about four or five years ago. <laughs> It's a really good wedding fair so I'm heading up there to try and get some inspiration and ideas. At the moment I am looking out for a wedding planner, not someone to plan it for me because I, this has been my dream to plan my own wedding so I will definitely be doing it myself but I want kind of a planner to like document it all, keep all the lists of 
I'm a stationary geek, so any excuse to get a new planner and I'm like on it. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for a new wedding planner. If any of you've got any recommendations of good wedding planners, leave them in the description in the comments down below, sorry. Um also I may even consider DIYing one if one doesn't quite fit all of my needs. And as well, I have been watching wedding videos and wedding series on YouTube for quite a while. So there are a few books that I quite fancy ordering. So I'm going to order those tonight. Um, and I'm also going to pick up some magazines tomorrow when I'm back at work and start the wedding planning. I'm planning on creating like mood boards and getting a general feel of what I want. I do not want to spend a small fortune on a wedding. I do not see the point. I understand that I want to celebrate my wedding with my friends and family, but how much money I spend on a wedding is not going to make it a magical day. What is going to make it a magical day is marrying Philip and spend and sharing it with all of my friends and family. So whether my cake is pink and gold or if it's white and silver or if it's four tiers or 16 tiers is not going to make a blind bit of difference on the day. I just want to be with the people I love, marrying the person I love. So I am hoping to do it on some kind of a budget. I do not want to spend a small fortune on it. Um, so <laughs> I, that's about where I'm at at the moment. Um, what I am planning on doing is a wedding series. As I've said, I've loved watching these for a good couple of years on YouTube because a girl can plan and dream. Um, so I definitely want to film my own little wedding series. The first video will be up towards the end of this month, I think. Um, and it's going to be all about like getting started on wedding planning. Hopefully I'll have a wedding planner by then. So I'll share that with you. I'll share which books I bought, which ones I found useful. And also I think I may vlog the uh, wedding fair as well. Um, just to give you a general feel of like what's happening around there. Um, but yeah, that is my amazing proposal story. I still can't quite get over that it's happened. And I'm beyond happy i i can't explain it i'm just like this christmas period has been one of the best christmas periods ever i've like properly gone for my youtube channel and feel so blessed with it and found some like so many amazing people on youtube and made some amazing friends and also being proposed to spend it with family. Honestly, this Christmas period has been one of the best ever. And I don't do not want to head back to work tomorrow and admit that it's over my Christmas tree came down the day and I was pretty sad about it. But anyway, we are looking towards the future, looking towards the wedding and getting excited about it. So that is my little chit chat over. If you want more chatty, have a cuppa, let's talk kind of videos, please leave them down below because I've really enjoyed filming this and just talking to you guys, even though you're not really there, but you are. Um, just let me know down below. And yeah, don't forget to check out my 100 subscriber giveaway, which I uploaded on Tuesday this week. Um, so you can enter that and I will see you all in my next video on Sunday and goodbye for now. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so.